Hey guys, Chauncey here again, and I want to give you a little bit of an update on what my uh, project looks like so far. A lot of people have been asking in the comments what I've been doing, so I'll just give you a little bit more of an idea. I've been using the Vuzix R1200 see-through augmented reality display as uh, I've shown you in a previous video. I'm uh, tracking here. Uh, I'll get into what I'm using and stuff like that later in the video. I'm doing head tracking and displaying in Panda 3D. Uh, I've got a, a second node I'm tracking with this laser mouse gun looking thing and it is uh, firing off into the uh, graphics engine as you see here. And I'm uh, displaying side by side so it'll appear in 3D in here. So if you were looking through this display you would uh, just see these floating red cubes. Okay, first as I mentioned I'm doing head tracking. It's an absolute positional tracker. I've tried things like uh, the 6TC inertial tracker here. and some uh, fidget devices and I just really couldn't get the accuracy of absolute position tracking that I needed. Those are very relative tracking devices. Um, so you know one inch is one inch with a with an with an absolute tracker. I'm using the Ascension uh, flock of birds set up here. It's actually kind of an older system we used with our cave here at IU uh, back in the 90s um, but I've kind of repurposed it for my AR experiments and uh, it works pretty well. It's uh, a magnetic uh, field tracker so this thing here projects a magnetic field in, around it and then I just kind of define how I want these sensors to be placed like this is turned to the right and facing forward you know that you know that way uh, and then you know I send the data in real time to my graphics engine over um, the loopback adapter in Windows um, so let's see what else this here is just a mouse is really all it is it's just a laser mouse I just got it because it looks like a gun. It's a good user interface thing. I'm going to be switching from this system to this over here. It's just a big Nerf gun. I'll be repainting that and uh, putting some some controls on the inside so that my graphics engine can actually control a servo that causes it so that when you when you fire it, it'll actually kick back. And uh, I'll actually kind of retrofit this whole thing in the back of that gun, so it'll be a lot nicer feeling. Um, let's see what else should I show you here. The uh, graphics engine itself is Panda 3D. It's uh, an open source, free to use uh, graphics engine that's mostly written in Python. You can use C++ if you really want to get into the internals, but I find it's nice because Python's such an easy language to play around with, and I'm not much of a programmer myself. I was able to build that world you just saw there and run it with my AR goggles. Oh, for less than. 330 lines of code and uh, it's pretty efficient. One thing I love about Python is it's it's really good at, good for interfacing with other devices. Like I said, I'm going to be using a, 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 a relay device that will trigger a servo that will be able to, when you fire, it'll actually kick, you know, physically kick it back, kind of a haptic effect on the gun and I'm using a uh, fidget to do that and Python interfaces with fidgets uh, natively. I mean, it's like really easy to interface with. So this augmented reality system I'm building is mainly for uh, studying things like play, uh, play therapy, and just, just having a good time building an augmented reality project. I, I really do like the concept of uh, outdoor storytelling, and I think a theme park is like the perfect place for something like this because it requires a lot of equipment, and you know, as time goes on, of course, things, will, things are going to be coming out that are bringing AR more and more closer and more into the masses but uh, having a this kind of this technology in my grasp to actually play around with and experiment with is, a, is just great because I can really think about things and then try it out instead of just kind of thinking about it and then not doing anything about it. Um, I'm going to be building a lot of artwork over the coming days. I have two months to present this for my uh, official graduate project uh, that I'm doing here at IU and I'll definitely film that for you guys so you get to see that. And uh, I'm going to be continue to be developing more and more things after school. I'll probably be less distracted after I get out of school uh, because I won't have to be writing any papers or you know updating portfolios and so on. So yeah, after school I'll be doing a lot more uh, development. I'm definitely very personally motivated with this project, so uh, I'm glad that I found augmented reality while I was in college. If you guys have any more questions, go ahead and write them in the comments. If you want to see more augmented reality stuff I'm doing, and you know, including my project, go ahead and click the subscribe button up above. 
Uh, thanks for watching.